Good evening, Cub Scout Roundtable. I'm here tonight with a day camp update for Shawnee Trails. As you all are aware, our day camp has been postponed from June, and we've rescheduled our day camp to August 3rd through the 6th at the Shawnee Indian Mission. Registration site has been updated to reflect that time change and date change. With that, we decided as a council to maintain the $70 registration fee, and there are no late fees this year for any of our camps. Because of this unprecedented situation, we understand that working with parents and leaders right now to determine your participation in camp is probably paramount. And because of that, we want to make sure that we properly plan for our camp operations and administration. And though there are no late fees, we ask that you be kind and try to register before June 8th as a pack again so we can properly plan for camp operations. Because of this unprecedented situation, we also understand that refund requests may increase. And because of that, the council is offering a 100% refund request to anyone that asks. The caveat to that is the request must be in writing and it must be in before the session starts. Requests are not going to be processed by par uh, individual parents. They must come from the leaders. If a leader is interested in requesting a refund, they must call and contact the council office. And more information can be found on hoac-bsa.org. Go to camping and look for camping resources. This week, the Cub Master and Committee Chair should be receiving an individualized survey from the camping department to get an idea of how many people they think will be planning on to participate in our day camp program. So that allows us to make the adjustments the best way we can to offer the best program we can for the amount of kids that we anticipate this summer. Even if you've not registered or do not plan to attend, we ask that you provide this valuable feedback to our council. This month, we had a day camp walking leader training scheduled for May 20th. At the current time, all in-person meetings have still been suspended, and we've decided to postpone this meeting and reschedule it for June 17th. As units register, more information will follow on when and where that meeting will be held. Because of this unprecedented situation, additional medical information is going to be required this year. A pre-screening medical checklist will now be required for all youth, adult, and staff participants, in addition to their Part A and B of the annual health form. Every youth and adult must submit this application before attending camp. You will not be allowed at camp without this information presented. That information, again, can be found on the additional camping resources page at our council website. In addition, these extra safeguards are being put into place to help mitigate a COVID-19 spread at our day camp. The council has made the decision there was no visitors at any camping operation this summer, which means at our day camp this year, there will be no family evening. And at our other camps, there will be no family nights, no invitations to campfires, family days, or invitations to ceremonies for our Order of the Arrow or Tribe of Mikasei members. In addition, daily temperature checks for all youth, adults, and staff members will be conducted before they enter the property. If an individual is found to have a temperature, they will be sent home. There will be extra sanitation stations throughout camp. Sanitation of shared equipment and program areas will be done. Think archery bows, uh, BB guns, craft tools, and things like that. Other requirements may become necessary based on recommendations from the CDC, local, state, and county health officials, and our Council Rick's Management Committee. And as those change, those will be shared with unit leadership as it will be impacted. Again, our main priority is to provide a safe experience for all youth in the heart of America Council. As this situation is fluid and changing daily, Council leadership continues to monitor recommendations, processes, and trends regarding COVID-19. A final decision on any camping operations for the entire summer of 2020 will be made in early June, and as more information becomes available, we encourage you to stay tuned to hoac-bsa.org and our Council's Facebook page. If you have any questions about camp or any of these things that are impacted by COVID-19, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself, your unit commissioner, or any of our district leadership. Thank you and good night.